Hey guys, I'm Rebecca Asop. So I'm doing an unboxing review on the new FMA P Hill box. So this LA5C, it is the deluxe version. The cost is about three times more than the previous LA5C. And let's see if we get what we pay for. So the box itself is different from the previous. The previous version, you get a black box. And this is a transparent, transparent box with the menu on the outside. So open it up, you get a menu, and you can see the date is November 11th, 2018. So this just released recently. And you know, you get a description. And inside, you get a description on the PQ box, and then there's the different function on the laser and IR. And you know, you get a pressure switch, your battery compartments, and all the standard stuff. So let's get to the box. The finishing on the box is a lot nicer than the previous one. And well, I own the previous one before, but I don't have it anymore. I saw that already, but that one I was using it on my Maori MWS, which I also saw. And the box is, well, this PQ box is a lot skinnier. Well, it's just skinnier than the previous one. And well, you can really compare it to the real one because the real one is made of fiberglass and then this here they say it's made on nano fibers but there are some detail spots that is resembling the real one for example the this fuel spot here is full of paint and this paint is supposed to be water resistant and you get the two blockage screw which you put it on here or here this is to prevent uh, the operator for accidentally switching it to the maximum settings so in here is the maximum for red laser and here is the maximum settings for or the maximum output for IO laser so if you have the two here it will prevent the user from going to the maximum and this is where you put your battery and I'll obviously put one CR123A battery in here so <coughs> and one major difference between this one and the previous, previous version is the adjustable on the windage and elevation so this is the windage elevation adjustment for the IR illuminator and this one is for laser and you adjust the seal for both the IR and visible laser and the next difference is the illuminator this one is pure IR only and the previous version you get a 200 lumens uh, LED flashlight and also this one is a red laser instead of a green one well the previous one has you get the option of green and red uh, green and red so yeah green and red but this one is only in red and this box this is sand this is the uh, dark earth or sand one and you get a black one okay now let's try the function so the here it is off and then you can see here there's a line and then this says ir and below it says this this is for visible laser so you get the low power and high power laser so low power laser It's spread quite a lot on white, so then get something black. So this is the low settings, and this is the high settings. And on the manual, here are the specs. They say the visible laser you can get up to two thousand meters at night, at night, and then one hundred fifty during the day. And there's the IR laser range on low and high power. And there's the illuminator or the IR flashlight, if you want to call it that, and low and high settings. So that's the spec that they claim. And let me see if I can test these somehow. But anyway, so let's see laser and IR. I can show it right here at the moment. I'll try to turn off the lights. And I don't have my IR camera at the moment. I had to get it from my other place. But this, here's this pressure switch. So you hold it once, double tap is for constant on. And also, as you notice, when you're turning on the laser, this green, there's a green light also showing at the back. So if you're behind the gun and you can still know whether you have it on or off, especially when you are on an hour settings, which you can't really see during the daytime. So right now I'm going to try to turn off the lights and I'll try the camera settings on the most sensitive on lights and see if you can pick up any infrared on the camera. Okay, so now I have turned off my lights. 
and I've ended sampling here and I turned the illumination settings to highest so it's very sensitive to any low lights right now so when I'm okay so this green light is the indication so when I have my one of the IO laser on and you can see this flashing dot on the camera but it's not showing on naked eye and then turn to the next settings we oh, see some you see a faint dot here but it's brighter in the light vision mode and this one is the strobe light with the IO laser you only see the strobe light in naked eye but you can't really see the faint laser now if you're wondering why there's a strobe light instead of a constant all night you are very correct because as stupid as it sounds they only make a strobe light our version for this PQ box so and they say they will be a constant on one later on but currently only strobe lights are available so you can see some of the effects on the IR laser Now this one you can really see in naked eye. It's a thin strobe light. So that's the night mode. So let me turn on the light. So just to make sure we're on the same page, the night vision mode is not really night vision. It's just they turn up the sensitivity on low lights on a camera. It's an app, so you can't really turn a cell phone into a night vision camera. So just to make sure that we're on the same page. So, as you can see, one major, major, major issue and one major thing that I don't like about this is the strobe light and they don't have a constant on at the moment. So, if you're doing a night game outdoor and, you know, you turn on your IR lights and then it's a strobe light, so it, it, it seems that like you're going into a party and that's really the one major flaw that I have on this. And as you have been following my previous video, I'm planning to add this on my PDW also. So this is how it looks like. Now I'm not sure if I will add the pressure pad at the side here or I'll just grab in front for my PQ box. So I'm not sure what I will do yet. But at the same time, I'm not doing night game. So the IO settings, the strobe light doesn't really bother me as much. And the main reason I'm getting it is for the adjustable laser so i can tune again at let's say 30 40 meters and then in at a field i can tune my red dot to 50 60 50 hop up and then i i'll always know that i have the uh shorter distance settings on my here box so i just turn this on and to my red dot to the laser dot so to get back to the like 30 meter settings for cqb so it's things like that that um makes me get this PQ box so this is the quick review on the new FMA PQ box and also I would have mentioned the box comes with a simple sponge settings and you get your labels or sticker at the bottom so thank you all for watching if you find this useful please subscribe and see you guys next time